Hello friends, my name is Happy. Today we're going to learn how to make a rectangle generator and deleter using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So first open up your browser and VS Code. File, open folder, documents, new folder, rect generator and deleter. Open. So now I'm going to create a new file called index.html. And before I watch this video, make sure I have a basic knowledge of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. New file called index.css. And lastly, a new file called index.js. Hit write HTML5. Link the Java link the HTML to the JavaScript. And link the HTML to the CSS. Now copy the path of this and then paste it into your browser search bar. Now you see we have a blank page. So the first thing we're going to do is create a div with an ID of G. Create a button with an ID of make. And create another button with an ID of destroy. Now we want to make our rectangles to be randomly generated you know random sizes random colors random roundnesses random everything id equals g id equals g id equals g reload now in the first button right let's create rectangle and and also right in the last button right destroy rectangle Reload. Now we have these buttons that don't do anything. Now the most important thing is to uh, wait. The most important thing in this case is to actually add the functionality. There's no point in styling if there's no functionality. So g equals documents dot get element by id. G. Now copy this and paste it two times. I'm replacing the G with make and destroy. And then replace this with make and replace this with destroy. So now you see that when we do that, it still doesn't do anything. That is because these are to get the actual elements themselves, but we're not actually doing anything with the elements. May so right make dot add event listener mouse down which means when the mouse clicks on it function e and now create a new thing called div equals documents dot get element by id div. I'm also going to set this divs width this div dot style dot width the width of the div to dollar sign. Now create a new variable called s, which stands for size, and then set this variable s every time the 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 make button is clicked. Set it to mass dot floor mass dot random times 100 what mass dot floor does is that it basically floors it you know yeah no i would just go to use round since uh, yeah what wraps around it is that it rounds this one so that's not going to be a decimal number so i am going to write i would set the divs width to s i'm also going to set its height height 
2s and then i'm also going to set it background color 2s actually the reason why i set the div width and height to be the same variable is because i want the div width and height to be the same so instead i'm going to set this to rgb comma uh so this one's going to be master random times 255 since the rgb stands for red green blue and red green and blue their values between 0 and 255 now i'm going to remove this master round to add more variety even though it's going to be decimal points nobody really cares copy the copy copy paste copy paste copy paste is such a useful tool nowadays don't you agree with me whatever so um anyways now right what's this g dot append child child S reload. Why isn't it creating anything? Let me check the console. Oh no, errors. Div is null. Why is it ever going to be null? Oh, I made a mistake. Uh, this div it gets anything with the ID of div. It's meant to create. Right, instead write documents or create element. Create element div. We're going to create a div element. Load. Oh, come on. No, no, it's div, not s. Load. Yes, finally. Uh, we can create something. I guess. Uh, we're not creating anything. So, um. That's a bit of a problem, so yeah. G. Oh, let me scroll through this code. So it's wrong with it. The reason why it's not. Oh, the reason why I have to read as pixels. As pixels. So we load. Finally, we can create rectangles of random sizes. But we also want to destroy rectangle button. And this destroy rectangle button, it's going to destroy all of the rectangles. I'm also going to give this div an ID of DV. Now, this destroy rectangle button is going to destroy all of the rectangles. So, copy this, paste it. And instead, write documents.get div equals document dot get element by id dv which is the id we gave to this div now write div dot remove which destroys the elements or remove it or as you can say oh uh, oh uh, no what's happening oh uh, why isn't it working it's destroying it procedurally oh uh, it's meant to be destroy dot add events listener no 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 yes we we'll create rectangles and destroy it. Uh, create rectangles. Destroy rectangles. It's fun. Uh, yeah, it's fun. Create, 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 create. Many different rectangles and then destroy all of them. Ha 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 ha. Oh, oh. So hard to press these buttons. What should we do? We're also going to set the body color to background color, cornflower blue, light cornflower blue, because light is, no, 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 light is good. I'm also going to make these buttons thicker to make them easier to press. So write button, paddings like 30 pixels, now they're easier to press, and give them a border of 2 pixels, solid, Cornflower blue, darker shade of cornflower blue. 
I just set the background color to cornflower blue. Save, reload. There we go. Uh, we're going to make this outline much thicker. Also, they give this a border radius of 30 pixels. There we go. Now we can destroy it much more easily. I am also going to increase the font size to 30 pixels. Create rectangle. Destroy rectangle. And create rectangle. And destroy rectangle. I am also going to give them a box shadow. 0, 0, 30 px, RGBA, 0, 0, 0, 0.5, the return of the box shadow, build more depth to it, it's not what I want, I want it to be inside of it, inset to make it inside, oh uh, yeah, a little too shadowy, so I am going to do this, uh, uh, looks good enough, I guess, Yeah, you know what? I'm not going to make it inset. Outside box shadow. It's good. There we go. Now, I'm going to make these buttons to have a sort of glow to them. So, I'm going to change this to RGBA, red, green, blue, 255. Oh. I'm going to make this light blue. I'm going to set its opacity to 1, maybe. Small glow. I'm going, to, I'm going to set this to white RGB255. Now these buttons have a glow to them. Now in this CSS, I'm going to give this div div dot style dot box shadow equals. Yeah, I could just do this in the CSS, but it's too lazy. Whoa. Uh, 0, 0, 0, 20 pixels, RGBA, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0.5. Oh, yeah, and also inset, don't forget that. Create yeah. rectangle. And then I'm going to remove the glow from these things. Look at how realistic the rectangle is. Oh, look, eerie. Oh, so eerie. Destroy rectangle. I'm having way too much fun with this. Anyways, that is the end of today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel, Obacode. Bye.